Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to use text input layout in Sketchware. So here I have these three edit text fields. This is edit email, edit username and edit underscore password. So I will put all these three edit text fields in text input layout and it will look like this. So here I can enter my email so you can see that the hint becomes the title above so let's begin so first thing we have to put all the edit text fields in a linear vertical so this is a linear vertical which is linear 7 inside linear 7 i have edit email edit username and edit password then we have to switch on app compatent design so here i have switched on app compatent design then go to on create and from linear 7 remove all views so i have used linear 7 dot remove all views this will remove all the edit text fields from linear 7 then i define a text input layout for writing text input layout, we have to write this complete thing com.google.android.material.textField.text input layout. So this will get the text input layout. And the name of this text input layout is text input1. And this is defined as equal to new text input layout this. This represents the context. So here I have defined text input 1 is a new text input layout then to this text input 1 I add view edit underscore email which is our edit text field so I add edit email to text input 1 similarly I define text input 2 which is a text input layout as a new text input layout this and to text input 2 I add edit underscore username then I define text input layout text input 3 and to text input 3 I add view edit underscore password after that to linear 7 I add all these three text input layouts so first I add text input 1 then text input 2 and linear 7 dot add view text input 3 so this will add all the edit text fields to different text input layouts and then the text input layouts will be added to linear 7 and I have already shown you the project here I can enter my email then when I click on username the username which is hint will become a title so here I can enter my username and the password and click on register that's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this.